Hello, and welcome back to Battle Plan, a podcast focused on spiritual warfare. I'm Steve Hemphill, and Battle Plan is an ongoing discussion of how we put our faith into action. The website is active-faith.org, and my email is stevehemphill one at me.com. I'd love to hear from you. Last time, we asked the question, can prayer plus scripture revive old equipment? That was a fun episode, but today we're going to discuss angels and demons at the recent Nashville school shooting, the Christian school shooting. Let me start with a couple of verses. First, First John 5 verse 1. Both of these are from the NLT. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has become a child of God, and everyone who loves the Father loves his children too. Matthew 18, 3. NLT says, then he said, I tell you the truth, unless you turn from your sins and become like little children, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. Recently, I made a connection with someone who was involved and lives near the um, event in Nashville, the Christian school shooting where several were killed. Uh, The gunman was killed in one of the classrooms. Um, Some of that information is still not been released to the public, but one of the stories that has not come out is connected to what the children saw and what the the officers uh, saw, the ones who took down the shooter in the classroom. Now, there's a playground right by the parking lot, and when the shooter drove up to the school to, you know, armored up with weapons all over, plenty of weapons and plenty of ammunition, they got out of their car to walk up to the school. There were about 50 kids on the playground right beside the parking lot. Apparently, the shooter didn't even notice that. And some of the kids came home that day and told their parents something that made people understand why. Because they could have easily taken down 50 kids and some teachers there on the playground without ever even entering the building. But some of the kids in the in the playground that day came home and told their mom and dad there was a golden dome over the playground that day. And angels were there around the golden dome. So maybe God sent angelic protection and the disguise of a dome that hid the playground from the sight of the shooter. The second thing that happened that also has not been in the public news is that the officers who took down the shooter in the classroom, when they broke the door down and and took down the shooter, there was a black cloud hovering directly above the shooter. And when they took down the shooter, the black cloud dissolved and dissipated and went away immediately. Only God. There really is an unseen realm. There really are angels and demons fighting battles for us and with us and against us in the case of the demonic situation in the unseen realm. So in light of today's thoughts, let me suggest part of your personal battle plan might be to pray protection and put scripture around any location your children spend any time at all in Jesus' name. Maybe you could pray like this. Lord, please put a hedge of protection around my children. Give them godly friends. Help them to be deaf to the voice of the enemy and only be able to hear the voice of your truth in Jesus' name. See you next time on Battle Plan. We're going to ask, can faith and prayer bring a windfall? And I'm going to remind you to keep praying because prayer works. God loves you and I love you. Have a great day.